Hey guys, I'm in the garage. I'm comfy. I got my sweatpants on. Pretty excited about this one. Um, putting a blow off valve in the Maverick uh, from Evo Power Sports. We're also putting a new air filter in. And later down the road, we are going to put a stage three in this. So that's going to be cool. Um, I'm not going to go any higher than a stage three. Um, I say that now, but I'm not. Um, I don't want to have to worry about different fuel. Um, stop at a gas station. I want to be able to find 90 octane, 91, 93, and put it in this and not have to worry about getting something higher or bringing fuel with me. Um, another thing, I don't want to go any higher because I do not want to uh, put bigger injectors in it and I want to keep the engine safe. Um, I want this thing to last. As much as your side-by-sides cost, I want this to last as long as I can. So I'm not going to go any higher. Um, just mainly around the woods and stuff, so I'm not in the dooms or anything, so I don't need anything more powerful. Um, stage 3 is going to give me like 200 horsepower, um, I believe, to the flywheel, not to the rear wheels, but to the flywheel. Um, stocks uh, 172, I believe. So, um, and we're also going to cat delete the exhaust. I'm not going to spend $300 on a cat pipe. Um, I'm going to, or a straight pipe, I'm going to just take the factory one off, show you guys how to knock out the catalytic converter so you're running a straight pipe. Um, really all you're going to want to do if you're going to want to spend the money for uh, a cat delete pipe, um, you're going to save a lot of weight. So I think, man, you're going to save probably, if you do a silencer and a pipe, you're probably going to save 20 pounds. So me being a fat kid, guys, for the weight that I'm going to lose, use or lose buying a $300 pipe, I can go take a shit and lose that weight, so <laughs> no big deal to me. So um, first thing, I'm going to put in a new I have a new uh, air filter, um, get rid of the stock paper filter. They're great filters, but the thing is they're kind of a use once, throw them away. They, uh, a lot of guys say don't hit them with air um, because the actual air will make the particles in the paper bigger and particles will get in. I don't like k and air filters either because um, if you guys ever look through them, you can see right through them. Um, they're more big particles, I, I think, can get through K&N. Don't have anything against K&N. Ran them for years and years and years. They do get fantastic airflow, but as far as protection, kind of iffy on it. So I've I've really been I got GoPro box actually. Um, I've really been a big fan of uh, Twin Air foam. Um, you take them out clean them in the sink, and then re-oil them, use them again. Uh, paper filters, throw them away, can in air filters, you have to clean them out. They're kind of hard to clean out too because they're that wire. But these, no shit, you take them out, squeegee them on in the sink, and put some oil on them. So that's enough of that. Let's get started on this uh, uh, blow-off valve. I'll show you guys what you get here. You are going to get two pipes, your blow-off valve, some hose clamps and you actually get the pipe if you just buy this here and you're not putting a blow off valve on yet you can uh, you get this here um, when you do buy this you have to get this because it has the holes already in it and stuff for your blow off valve your blow off valve is fully adjustable and you get some more hoses some hose clamps a couple stickers and some instructions Instructions do not have pictures, so if you guys can't read, good luck. All right. That small hose, that hose right there with this clamp on it, that's going to be your small hose and what you're going to replace. Um, not really that difficult to, to get out. Get on, Getting on is going to be a little more difficult. If you guys don't know, this is your wastegate. This is what controls the pressure of your turbo. And right here is your turbo, right here. So um, a lot of guys, what they'll do is in the wintertime, they'll cut a hole in there and put a little computer fan in there. And during the winter, it'll take all that heat that's coming off your turbo and push it in. So I have never taken this off when I'm washing it. And I think by the looks of it, I should probably do that more often. So this machine has a thousand miles on it, which to me, I don't think is a lot. So, and your second hose is going to be that hose right there. That hose that runs across the back here, connects right there. And on the other side, connects right there. 
and your blow off valve is going to be right in between. Now on your pipe, we're going to do this too. Right there, that on your pipe is where your catalytic converter is. And you guys can see there's the opening connected into your exhaust. So all you have to do is take this off, take a long chisel and hammer and go to town on that. What is inside of that is actually quite expensive and you can take it to probably uh, um, salvage yard and get some money for it but it's very soft it's easy to get out so all you're gonna do is chisel that out and then you have a cat delete system um, as far as your tunes taking that catalytic converter out and putting on a blow off valve is not gonna mess with your computer whatsoever okay? you can take it off you're not gonna throw any codes actually having a blow off valve in your turbo is a good idea it takes the pressure and the heat away from the turbo, makes the bearings in the turbo last longer. So that's why people put these in. And of course, that cool ass sound you get from it too. That's more what I'm going for. I like the sound. But if making the sound and getting a little bit more performance out of these tubes and saving my turbo long term, sounds good to me. Especially if I'm going to go and throw a tune in it anyway. So creating more boost, therefore you want to get more out of your pressure so you don't damage your turbo. So. Um, I think I am going to replace that center boot first and then probably to get this longer boot in I'm gonna go ahead and rip my catalytic converter off so I got some more space to get my hands in there so let's get started all right guys first thing just uh, loosen that clamp on the top of the bolt there or top of the tube and you can just go ahead and rip it off like I did and then underneath, you're going to have to get your uh, clutch uh, boot out of the way here, just so you can get get to it. Loosen your two clamps and go ahead and rip that out. Then uh, loosen your top clamp here. If you have a 90 degree ratchet wrench like I do, it makes the job so much easier. You might want to just go out and buy one of them for this job to have it in your toolbox. Once you got that loose, you weasel it out through the bottom here. I tried pulling it out uh, inside the cab. This is the best place right here. All right, guys, you can go ahead and grab your small boot, put on your hose clamps. There are a couple different sizes, so pick the hose clamp that fits onto the pipe the best. Um, if you need to, you can reuse your old hose clamps, but they give you some really nice ones. So um, I already got the tube in place here. Make sure that your clamp is, and your tube is all the way seated tightly. And go ahead and tighten those down. Alright guys, at this time you can go back to your workbench and uh, put on your blow-off valve. With the clamps that they provide, you can see I'm using uh, a pair of dikes or side cutters to pinch down the hose clamp. You're also going to want to put on the nipple in the little hole that's on the pipe, and that's if you're hooking up uh, a boost gauge or anything. And then they also give you this really nice pre-filter to keep the mud and the dirt off of it so you can actually adjust it later down the road or it doesn't stick open. Just put that on, uh, force the little nipple through the top of there and put your hose on again, clamping it down with your pair of dikes or side cutters. Okay, now that we got the tube ready and the blow off valve ready, we're going to go ahead and get this exhaust off and out of the way so we can get that tube on a lot easier. There are six bolts on this heat shield here, two on top on each end, and then uh, one on the bottom on each end. Real easy to get off. Once you get these bolts off, it pretty much just drops up onto the floor. So that's your first step here. I believe they are 10 millimeters. All right, guys, once you get that heat shield out of the way, you're going to want to rip off this hose clamp here. 
it actually goes through the frame so we'll unloosen it all the way and go ahead and rip it right out all right guys the best way to get to that hose clamp is go right through the center of the cab here with a ratchet or a wrench whatever you have to get that off remember you're gonna to have to spread it or take it off and spread it all the way and actually rip it out or you're not gonna be able to get the exhaust or those heat shields off once you get that hose clamp off now the real fun um, hope you got some strong forearms gonna take some vice grips or even if you have a spring puller if you have a spring puller that's the best but you're gonna have to get these four springs off the back of the exhaust here I used uh, just a vice grips grabbed a hold of them yanked them and they did uh, come right off um, the bad thing is putting them back on so beware of that also all right guys the next step is to take a 12 millimeter and uh, loosen this hose clamp that connects the exhaust to the turbo once you get this loose you're gonna have to pry the shit out of it break it loose because it has been heated up a few times all it is is a collar that's going around the exhaust to flange and the turbo flange once you get that uh, loosened up you're gonna want to go around the side here and unhook your uh, O2 sensor that's connected to the exhaust all right, once you had fun ripping that exhaust off and getting that clamp loose, go ahead and loosen this top clamp on the tube that you're going to replace. All right, once you have that exhaust clamp loosened up on the exhaust side, you're going to want to jump over to the clutch side and loosen up this uh, hose clamp here. You can go ahead and unloosen it all the way and rip it off. There's also going to be two hose clamp or two uh, zip ties in the middle of that pipe uh, that is holding up some of the wires. Go ahead and snip them off. Rip that pipe right out of the machine once you get it unconnected from the from the uh, outlets here. All right, once you rip that pipe out, guys, it is time to put in your new hose. Um, the blow-off valve is going to be closest to you on the exhaust side. That's the side of the pipe that you're going to want to put uh, on that side. Uh, it takes a little bit to weasel it on in there. you got to go around a bunch of tubing, a bunch of hole, uh, hoses and stuff. And up on top there in the center, there's a little plastic uh, horseshoe-looking thing or a whatever a shelf that you throw that the center of that pipe in so just take your time get it in there nice to where it's not blocking all the hoses and stuff um, they supply you two zip ties that you're going to want to put back in if you can just get to that stuff um, just before you rip out the other pipe just remember what stuff is zip tied up and do the same here once you got everything all situated go ahead and tighten that hose down All right, guys, I didn't get a very good video of this. Right now, here, I'm taking off an O-ring off of a piece that I took off. Right underneath the blow-off valve, there's a little box, black box, probably about, oh, eight inches long. On the very top of it, there's a 30, uh, T30 hex head that you have to take out. There, I'm shining the light at it right there. A T30 hex head, you got to take out and pull that piece out right there. Once you pull that out, there's an O-ring on it. Take that O-ring off and put it on the supplied uh, piece of plastic uh, connector that they give you. Here I'm putting it back in, the one that uh, Evolution Power Sports gives to you. Put that in, put your T30 back in, and that's the hose that's going to connect from your blow-off valve down to there. It is a little bit of a bear to get in there. If you need to use some grease or something to get it in there, go ahead and do that. Once you got it worked down and all the way seated, go ahead and put your 30 millimeter or T30 back in and tighten her all down. Go ahead and put your hose on from your blow-off valve. Remember to put your hose clamp on first. Now you can just use a regular hose clamp because in this situation here, to get your pair of dikes in there and actually tighten down that clamp that they give you is very hard. So if you want to go out and get a um, 
hose clamp to fit that tube, that would work perfectly also. All right, guys, after you get that all tightened up and uh, your tube down from your blow-off valve and everything, it is time to put your exhaust back together. Um, exactly the way you took it apart. Um, I'll show you in the next video how to do the cat delete. It's real easy, guys. All you're going to do is find something around the, the shop to drill that out. Um, I actually had a, a long wooden drill bit, and the reason I used wood is I was holding the exhaust in my hand while I was drilling it, and I didn't want a steel drill bit to, to come up through. So the stuff that, that the catalytic converter is actually made out of, it's not very hard, so you can get away with a wooden drill bit. Um, after that, I took a little chisel and a long chisel and uh, chiseled out the sides and everything. So it's a little bit of a process. Remember um, uh, to put your boot back on on the clutch side here. This is a pain in the ass. Um, I actually took uh, my wife's uh, hair dryer and warmed it up just a little bit to go around the tube a little bit easier. So, but it's a pain in the ass. I worked on it quite a, quite a long time. Once you get that done, it's time to hear uh, what it sounds like. Now, this video does not give this thing justice. It has a really good hiss when you let off the gas here. So, go ahead. And there you go guys thanks for uh, watching uh, please subscribe if you guys have any questions whatsoever don't hesitate to ask me